look at this uh, opportunity, this, this uh, photo opportunity, there's someone missing, and a lot of people are talking about how Sean Spicer, the very visible representative of the White House, who is an extremely devout Catholic, was not included. And we actually have some reporting here at CNN that, you know, he felt left out by this, which you cannot blame him for. What happened? I think what you're seeing is uh, the disenchantment that uh, President Trump has expressed to his aides privately with uh, Sean Spicer. Uh, my sources tell me that he has suggested that he feels that some of the newcomers that came on with the RNC head, Ryan uh, Priebus, who is the chief of staff, that they aren't as loyal to him as Keith Schiller, who had a chance to go and meet the, the, uh, the Pope. He's the bodyguard. Uh, Hope Hicks, who has been around since the beginning of the campaign, and Dan Scavino, who has worked for the president for 18 years. Um, you know, a lot of our White House officials are telling us that you may not actually see Sean Spicer again at the podium after this trip. So it would make sense that the president would start limiting his public appearances. Um, and these people were very close to Trump. They're literally family. He, he, had, he really values loyalty and blood. And there is something to it. I mean, as a reporter, I, I know that when I make a phone call to the press office and it's about Reince Priebus, I often get a quicker response than I do when it's about the president. So there is sort of a, a, a loyalty towards him because he was the one who brought them into the White House. House, and Trump wants to know that the loyalty is to him first and foremost.